guys and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a pretty exciting one so I don't know if you guys have noticed but and some of my recent videos my lips have been looking a little extra plump I have been using these little devices right here I'm sure you guys have seen them um, they were pretty big a while ago and I have personally been wanting these for the longest time ever so these are the little products that I have been using to enhance my lips. Now these are called full lips and when you get them, you get them in a little box which unfortunately I don't have anymore because I've had them for a while, <clears throat> like I said, and I think I must have accidentally um, thrown away the box. But this is what they come in. They come in this cute little see-through red bag and then you get your products. Now it depends on the sizes that you want. You can order them from like small, medium, medium, large, and etc. Um, you can get them in a bundle of one, two, or I guess a single one, a bundle of two or three. I have the bundle of three and let me look for the other one because it has gone missing. So this is what they come in, like I said, it's a bundle of three and that's the one that I have. Um, I will show you really quickly what they look like. So this is what they look like. You get a small one and then you get your medium one and then you get your large one. So what it says on the website is that you should um, choose these based on your lips. On the lip size that you have, if you already have full lips, then you can go with something like this that's a little bit bigger. because. It's going to fit perfectly around your mouth. If you have about an average size um, lips, like medium sized lips, then obviously you can get just the medium size oval um, lip enhancer. Or if you have a smaller mouth, then you want to go with the small size. Now, personally, the ones that I feel I get the most use out of is the really big size and then the really small size. I don't use the medium one as much. So this is the little card that you get and it tells you lip tips. So it gives you a whole bunch of tips on how you can use them. Um, you know, like the time, um, hydration, how you should apply your liner and gloss, size and technique, my personal technique, etc. So it has a whole bunch of little tips and notes on how to use it. Um, me personally, like I said, I've been using it for a while and I feel very comfortable. I will be doing a demo in a little bit to show you guys a before and after picture. So I decided to try this and see how I liked it and honestly, I love this stuff. It's really, really amazing. I will leave their uh, page link down below and you can browse on it for yourselves. And I believe they have before and after pictures. There's also a full video on uh, the person. I think it's the daughter or the actual creator of Full Lips. Um, and she shows you how to work this product. But it's really simple. Now you do have to be very, very careful because it's a suction. So you put your lips you suction the air out and it pretty much tightens your lips so what it does is all the blood flow goes to your lips which makes them look big and plump so the first thing that i like to do and let me bring you a little bit closer so we can start doing the demo so the first thing that i like to do is i like to take a little clean uh, makeup remover or a baby wipe whatever and i like to just clean around my lips just to make sure that I don't have like any makeup or anything like that. Now another thing that they recommend is for you to use a lip exfoliator. Um, just because you don't want any like dead skin to be hanging around your lips. To be plumping our lips, we want to make sure that we exfoliate them first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this e.l.f. lip exfoliator, which is super ugly. Don't even mind it. But I love how this stuff works. So I'm just going to apply that directly to my lips and I'm going to exfoliate them, especially concentrating right here. That's where I get the most flakiness. You also want to be gentle. You don't want to over exfoliate. Now exfoliating your lips will kind of bring a little bit of blood flow to the lips already. So that'll help, you know, the start. 
and I am just buffing that out like a damn gorilla because I'm crazy like that so that feels right about um, good for me as far as my lip exfoliating goes so next what I'm gonna do um, you can totally use a little bit of water around your mouth that helps the suctioning um, stay in place better I personally I think I like I said I think I have it down now where I don't need to use water but if you start with this I think I recommend for you to do that so this is what my normal lips look like before so <clears throat> I'm going to start with this one which this is the biggest one and also I forgot to mention when you first get them you want to make sure that you rinse them with um, lukewarm water and a little bit of soap just to get anything off and you do want to wash these every time you use them because sometimes if you have lipstick on you can leave a ring of lipstick inside which is nasty so make sure to wash them with just a little bit of soap and a little bit of um, warm water and you are good to go so I'm just going to give this a quick quick <laughs> I'm just going to give this a quick clean and then we can get started so again this is the big one that's what it looks like now what you want to do is you want to place them right on your lip so this is um, where the top of my lip ends so what I'm going to do and I probably won't be able to talk so I'm just going to place them like this just like that and then you want to start sucking on it now you want to make sure that you start very slowly the first time that I use them I just wanted to go ham on them and I did bruise myself on the upper lip which it's not noticeable if you wear makeup um, and it doesn't hurt or anything it wasn't like purple it was just like red little dots um, just because you know you can damn you can hurt yourself so make sure that you start off really slowly and then just work your way up and start doing it a little bit more intense so yeah just make sure you're very careful with this so then I'm going to do that, that way you can see how the lips look um, after I start plumping them. So as you can see, it's starting to get a little bit bigger. Now, the cool thing about this is that you can concentrate it on your upper lip or on your bottom lip, depending of where you want more fullness and also you want to leave this on your lips for about 15 10 15 20 or 30 seconds it really depends on how comfortable you are with them I usually leave it for around 20 seconds so I'm gonna go back and just keep doing them and you can just keep doing it until you get the desired uh, fullness on your lips So as you can see, this lip looks a lot more mm, perky. So you pretty much want to keep doing this again, like I said, until you get them as big as you want. So I'm just going to do this one more time and then I'm going to move on to this one. This one is going to give you overall fullness around here. And then this one, I like to use it right there. And this will concentrate this right here, kind of like that Angelina Jolie lip. lip. So let me do this one more time. Okay. <clears throat> so as you can see, they're getting a little bit bigger. Now you can leave them on a little bit longer just so you can get faster results. But like I said, these are the two that I like to use. Um, so I'm just going to clean this one as well. Now this one, the cool thing about it is that you can use it either this way or this way. I like to use them both ways because, like I said, I like to achieve an overall fullness right in the middle of my lips. So I'm going to take the smallest one and place it on the middle of my lips. So as you can see, they get a lot more meaty right here. Now I'm going to turn it this way. And then I just keep doing it. So 
So as you can see, my lips look way different from how we first started. Um, and like I said, just, just take it easy. This takes practice, definitely, because I think I bruised myself maybe two or three times when I was just being too rough on my lips. So make sure to take your time. And you can really keep doing this as much as you want. Um, I usually like my upper lip a little bit bigger, but it really depends. Sometimes I like them like really big lips. Sometimes I like them like a little bit more toned down. So that's, <clears throat> that's good for me. I like, and the reason why I like to keep them a little bit extra plump is because I want them to last me for a while. Now I think, well, at least for me, these last for about two hours I mean they won't stay this big for two hours but my lips will still look pretty full compared to my normal lips so I'm gonna take my favorite lipstick of the moment and I get tons of questions every time I wear this lipstick this is the wet and wild lipstick by the Fergie collection and this is in the color Fergie daily this is literally an exact dupe for max blankety so if you love that lipstick you are going to love this it's a really nice um nude color so let me just apply that to my lips so this is how my lips look with lipstick on honestly i really like them um Again, it's personal choice whether you like big lips or if you don't. If you have big lips, then girl, you are blessed. So I really, really like it. And let me give you a before and after. So like I said, they're super simple and they're really fun to use. I really love these and I do carry them with me. I I really don't care. I carry them wherever I go. I usually just carry the small one because again, that, that's the one that I feel like I use the most and that's the one that gives me the results that I like. So I usually just put it in this little pouch or the little pouch that I came in and I'll just put it in my bag and take it to go. And yeah, I I love this product. I think it's genius. If you don't want to spend six, seven hundred dollars on Juvederm on your lip, or if you're like me and you just don't have the guts to get lip injections, then I highly suggest you give these guys a try. Um, like I said, just you really need to learn first of all how to use them. I personally had my struggles. Like I said, I did get some bruising. Like under here and then on the top of my lip but that was just because I was being too rough so make sure you just follow the steps and watch tutorials they have a tutorial like I said where they will show you how to use this um, full lip product and I will assure you that you will love them I love it I use it pretty often if you haven't noticed on my videos my lips look pretty big and it's because of these. So I think I'm going to continue to use them until maybe I get the guts to get lip injections. If I ever do, don't judge me. So I think that is everything that I wanted to mention and I hope I touched um, base on everything, like all the tips, etc. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comment section down below. I always answer to your guys' comments like 99% of the time. So if you do have any more questions, then please um, leave them down below and I will get to you as soon as I can. And I believe that is everything that I wanted to say. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you really enjoy. And don't forget to subscribe so you can stay updated with my videos. And until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.